right guys, we're out here at Waste Management today. I'm gonna teach you the right way to put on some tire chains. I'm with PWAG Inc. USA. Uh, there's a lot of different videos out there, but we're gonna show you some cool tricks, uh, how to prolong the life of your chains and uh, get them on there correctly. Today we are gonna be installing the uh, USA 2255 SCs on this 31580-225 tire. All right, the first thing you want to do, guys, is lay out your chains nice and evenly. Have a look. Look for broken links. Um, these chains look good, but I want to show you a, a trick to prolong your life over here. So when we lay out our chains, we always look for twists. This is a twist in the side chain here, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of that twist and make sure all of our side chain hooks are facing up with no twist on the side chain. Now that we found our center point, we're gonna put these on your front drive axle. Because of your power dividers, we're always gonna put them on the front drive axle. That'll get the best traction for driving in snow and ice. All right, so we got our center point. Now we're ready to put them on. Uh, I like to grab on both sides of the center point. Make sure the cams are facing you in this uh, procedure so they're on the outside of the tire. You do not want the cams on the inside of the tire. So everything's looking good here. We grab our chains, get in here, throw those up on there. We're gonna check if any of our chains are stuck in these deep lugs here. I just want them to be nice and centered. I want the same distance on this side well as this side as well. So we're gonna kind of fix these over here just by adjusting them. So we're gonna get a nice even fit on this tire. Uh, next step, we're gonna tuck these cross chains under the rear uh, of the tire. I'll explain that why in a minute. So my, uh, my side chain is out under the tire so we don't drive back on that. The inside is tucked in away from that as well. All right, so I like to tuck the chains in the back of the wheel because I want the driver to roll backwards when we're doing this. The main point is there, so when we go to hook this chain up, I'm working here. Even with this fender here, I still want to be on this side of the truck so I can see oncoming traffic if I'm doing this on the side of the road. Say there is an accident, I can either duck in here or at least I see it to get out of the way. What I like to do is grab the, uh, the extra cross chain links and kind of pinch those off so it makes it easier. With this truck, I have plenty of room to kind of get in here and even look at it. So I'm going to pinch that off. All right, that so back. now we're on our outside. Most of the time we just grab these, hook it up, and there's a lot of tag chain happening like this, okay? So oftentimes you want to get rid of that tag chain. On the inside of the tire or the inside, you can do this little trick. So come back here going to simply go through the first tag link that you're not going to use, grab the cross link that you want, and hook that one out. So now your tag chain isn't whipping around all day and whipping your fenders and your brake line. Alright, now that we have our chains on, we're uh, latched up, uh, it's time to tighten the cams. Cams are tensioning devices, okay? So some chains will have three, some will have four, some might even have more than that. Do you need to cam all of the cams when you install tire chains? The answer is no. They're just there to get it on tighter. So don't fight them. If you have it on there and you have the proper tension, uh, you do not have to do all three of the cams on these. So let's start down low. I like to start low because when I get up top, I'll be able to stand up and have more uh, leverage on tightening the cams. Now, let me show you. You get the cam tool. This is the cam lock that will come with the PWAG USAs. Uh, good cam lock, but it's, you're gonna fight, okay? We sell this 205 cam tool. It's got the little cam uh, notch on top. It's a tire thumper. You get a latch here to pull different things. Uh, let me show you how easy this is. That one's latched. So that's our 205 cam tool. Once you have those, uh, we also recommend the 103 multi-arm adjusters. Um, with cams, do you have to have these? No. But is it a good idea for prolonging the life of your chains? Absolutely. All right, now that we have our 103 multi-arm on here, I want to check the tightness of the chains. Everything's looking good here. Uh, what I like to do is 
that's the perfect tightness. If you can get your fingertips under the cross chain, no more or no less, that is a perfect tightness to have on these things. All right, after you've checked your tightness and you're, you can barely get your fingertips under there, get back in, drive about 100 or 200 feet, um, come back and look, see if you can either tighten one of your last cams that you haven't tightened. They're gonna adjust, they're gonna kinda uh, shape to the tire after you do drive that far. So then you can get back out and either get another link here on the inside or finish your uh, adjusting your last cam. All right, so these are, this is how your PWAG square links are gonna wear. You're gonna wear on this edge and this edge of the chain right here, okay? So to get double the life out of these that you don't get out of a twist link, simply after a day's use on this side of the, of the chain, you're gonna put this chain on the other side of the truck. What's gonna happen is now it's gonna be on the other side and you're gonna have two brand new points of contact over there. All right, there's many different ways of storing your chains after you're done. Side chain hangers, uh, toolboxes, some have baskets. On this truck, it has this toolbox for it. So a neat, a neat way we, we have learned this way, simply grab the ends after you have untwisted them. Bring that up there. Simply grab, and basically you're using a folding method, okay? Bungees, simply fold them up, keep them out of the sun, they're rubber, so they're going to fade and corrode. Keep them in there, fold it up, always have a cam tool with you. Uh, it's probably a good idea to have a couple cam tools as well. Alright, next time you go to use your chains, all you're going to have to do is simply grab your hooks, and pull them out, and they're going to be ready for you. Nice and uh, untangled and ready to put on the truck. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned a couple of tricks when it comes to chaining up. If you have any questions, you can contact us at PWAG, 1-800-445-2895. Thanks for your time.